I'm Becca Ironside, pelvic floor physical therapist. I wanted to talk today about the myriad of women with whom I speak that stop having sex and orgasms at any stage during their lives. They either get to an age where they feel it's not necessary to be having orgasms anymore, or they're unpartnered and it's just the last thing on their brain. I wanted to talk about the beautiful benefits of orgasm, both from a physical and a brain perspective. And I'm gonna show you this pelvic floor to illustrate what's happening. So during arousal, what happens is blood will flow into this area the muscles will lengthen to accommodate it, and the vulva and the labia will become engorged with blood. At the same time that this is occurring, dopamine is being released into the brain, and dopamine is a wonderful feel-good chemical. You can align it to hearing your favorite song on the radio, in a convertible, and it's the first spring day where the sun has come out after months of snow and ice. So that's dopamine, right? So as we near climax, the muscles start to quiver like so. Muscular contraction. That is your orgasm. That is a kale exercise only magnified. So it's a fabulous muscle contraction for your body. But what else is happening in the brain? Aha. Uh -huh. Serotonin and oxytocin, two feel-good comforting chemicals, are then released into the brain. So we have the physical aspects of arousal, which again are lengthening of tissues. We've got the dopamine release in the brain during arousal. Then we have the beautiful climax where the muscles are quivering, sending delightful jolts of joy all through the pelvis. At the same time, serotonin and oxytocin are released. So if this isn't proof of why female orgasm is actually beneficial to the system, then I don't know what is. My goal is to educate people about the importance of having orgasms, climax, and reclaiming their sex lives, whether they're partnered or not. It simply doesn't matter. Orgasms are great for the body and the brain. If you enjoyed this, hit like and subscribe.